London was founded by the Romans in 43 AD and quickly rose to prominence in Roman Britain. Although there are few remnants from this time period, some ruins do exist, including parts of the Roman fortifications and the remains of a Roman theater. After the Romans left, the city's power dwindled until Alfred the Great refortified the site. The city grew in importance after the Norman conquest, eventually becoming England's capital, as seen by the numerous royal buildings and mansions that still exist today. Much of London's history is self-evident, with a plethora of historic landmarks providing insight into the lives of Londoners over thousands of years. From Buckingham Palace to Highgate Cemetery, let's see best places to visit in London. Number 1. Leicester Square Leicester Square, established in 1670 in the heart of London's West End, is your one-stop entertainment center for all your needs. At local locations, you may see the best acts and be impressed by the star-studded red carpet events. The atmosphere of the area is influenced by the numerous theaters in the area, which has been entertaining people for hundreds of years and is known as Theatreland. Despite the fact that the square was first opened to the public in 1670, it was not until the 1700s that it began to flourish and become the epicenter of entertainment that it is today. Many of the area's theaters were constructed in the 1800s. Odeon Leicester Square, Princes of Wales Theatre, Wyndham's Theatre, Adelphi Theatre, Prince Charles Cinema, and others are some of the well-known and well-known theaters in the area. Number 2. Hyde Park Hyde Park is one of London's most well-known and largest parks. The park has a rich history, having hosted several demonstrations and protests, including suffragettes' protests. Every week, discussions, protests, and performance artists take place in the park's well-known Speaker's Corner. Several commemorative elements, as well as two bodies of water, the most notable of which being the Serpentine, can be found in the park. In the heart of the city, you may go paddle boating, view a lot of swans, and get some fresh air. It's a definite must-see. Number 3. Westminster Abbey Westminster Abbey is a famous medieval monument that has hosted a number of important royal and national events, including coronations, weddings, burials, and even deaths. Westminster Abbey, in the heart of London, was built in the 11th century by King Edward the Confessor, a Saxon king who dedicated the new church to St. Peter. Take a tour to get the most out of your visit and to view the most interesting areas of the abbey, as walking around might be daunting. One of the greatest attractions is Poet's Corner, which is the resting place of many notable non-royal figures. The coronation chair, made on King Edward I's instructions between 1300 and 1301, is another of the most spectacular sights. It was built to house the King's Stone of Scone, which he had imported from Scotland. Number 4. London Eye A journey to London would be incomplete without a stop at the world-famous London Eye. The Eye is a gigantic Ferris wheel that offers stunning views of the city and was built to commemorate the millennium. The wheel is illuminated in seasonal hues at night and serves as the focal point of London's annual New Year's fireworks display. You can either share one of the large pods with other enthusiastic visitors or splurge on a private pod for you and a special someone. Combine your visit to the Eye with a visit to the London Aquarium, where you may see jellyfish, cirruses, and crocodiles among other aquatic creatures from around the world. Number 5. Hampstead Heath With a total area of 790 acres, Hampstead Heath is one of London's largest parks. It is located on Parliament Hill, one of London's highest points, and offers spectacular views of the city. Grassy meadows, wooded regions, and a number of huge ponds can be found on the heath. It is the ideal spot in London to explore outdoors, with plenty of wildlife and little woods to get lost in. Swimming Lidos are available for individuals who are daring enough to swim in the fantastic British weather. Kenwood House, a historical stately estate famed for its curated art collection, is a must-see for history aficionados. Number 6. Tower Bridge The idea for Tower Bridge began to take shape in 1876, when it was decided that a bridge to the east of London Bridge was needed to support the city's growing commercial expansion. The city architect Horace Jones and engineer John Wolfe Barry were chosen to cooperate on the project after a competition was held for the design of the new bridge. The Prince of Wales, at the time, inaugurated Tower Bridge in 1894. The walkways, which were heavily used by the public, were restricted to the public from 1910 until 1982 due to the presence of many undesirables. They were restored in 1982 and currently house a fantastic exhibition about the structure and engineering of Tower Bridge. Number 7. Buckingham Palace 
a visit to London would be completed without a stroll through Green Park to see Buckingham Palace. Since 1837, the palace has been home to the British royal family. It has 775 rooms and the city's largest private garden. Some areas of the palace are available to the public, allowing tourists to get a glimpse of the royal lifestyle. Observe the world-famous changing of the guard from the outside. This operation takes place a few times a day, and it's a terrific way to see a historic custom and the Royal Guard's highest discipline, all while wearing the iconic London bearskin. Number 8. Big Ben in Parliament The Great Bell of the Clock at the north end of the Palace of Westminster is referred to as Big Ben. Elizabeth Tower, often known as the Clock Tower, is the official name of the structure. It's right next to the Houses of Parliament. The majority of visitors associate London with Big Ben, a famous structure. It is the world's most recognizable clock, and it has been ticking 116 floors above the ground since May 1859. In addition, it is the world's second-largest four-faced chiming clock. A tour of Big Ben and Elizabeth Tower is only feasible if the person meets all of the British government's criteria and has a contact with any MP who can arrange a visit. Number 9. National Gallery the National Institution is a London-based art gallery that has around 2,000 Western European paintings from the Middle Ages to the 20th century. Here are works by well-known artists such as Botticelli, Leonardo da Vinci, Rembrandt, Turner, and Van Gogh, among others. The National Gallery is one of London's most prominent museums, with an extraordinary collection of paintings spanning the years 1260 to 1900, including works by all of the era's most famous artists. The monument in Trafalgar Square now has over 2,300 artworks on display. It is a neoclassical structure that was converted into a museum in 1838. This museum's works are arranged in chronological order. The oldest paintings by Giotto and Jan Van Eyck may be found at the museum's main entrance, which faces the Sainsbury Wing. The West Wing houses Renaissance paintings by Michelangelo and Leonardo da Vinci, while the other wings include paintings from the 17th and 18th centuries. Number 10. Trafalgar Square Trafalgar Area, located in the city of Westminster, is a public square with several cultural spaces, museums, and galleries surrounding it. Distances to other locations are calculated from Trafalgar Square, which was created in the 1820s by renowned architect John Nash. Trafalgar Square's central location allows you to visit many other fascinating tourist destinations such as Chinatown, Big Ben, and even Buckingham Palace. Admiral Lord Nelson led the British to victory in the Battle of Trafalgar in 1805, and it is named after him. King George IV requested that the present-day Trafalgar Square, formerly known as Charing and Charing Cross, be renovated and redeveloped. Natch, however, died before he could see his dreams come to fulfillment. Architect Charles Berry offered a new design, which took five years to develop and was completed in 1845. 